Jason Gillespie got 201 not out. The most phenomenal thing. Story time now, and I thought, you know, with India being over in Bangladesh, I'm gonna go back to 2006, a long, long time ago. I'm gonna talk a bit about Night Watchmen. Now, what a Night Watchmen. For those that don't follow cricket too seriously, pretty much the dodgy batsmen send in a bowler that they believe can help them out, get through the hard play, maybe two or three hours at the end of the day, get the stumps, and then hopefully, they will probably get out in the morning, and then the new batsman comes in who's the more certified batsman. They go on to get a big score. So we're pretty much just sent out to the Wolves. That's exactly what we do. We get sent out to the Wolves, and we hope for the best. Now, I'd been doing this job for a number of months. Even the previous year in 2005, I did it on a few occasions. But on this particular day in Bangladesh, 2006, I was tired from bowling. Somebody said, do we need a night watchman? Of course, yes we did. I looked around, I wasn't really keen to do it, so I said, Dizzy, as in Jason Gillespie, why don't you do it? He goes, yeah, okay, man, I'll do it, in that voice. So, he straps on his pads, goes out, we lose a wicket, Jason Gillespie gets in at number three, gets through the night, bats the whole next day, ends up with 100, 150, 200, Jason Gillespie got 201 not out. The most phenomenal thing. When he was approaching that 100, the first 100, we were like, he's gonna do this. Beautiful batting wicket. There was a little bit of turn there, but Jason Gillespie, he soaked up so many balls and then the stroke play started to come. He really enjoyed his cricket. Running hard between the wickets. Getting the sort of value for money when he hit the shots through the covers. Gets to 100, celebrates, keeps going. And then somebody said the change room behind me, I reckon this is in for a big one because we knew that Jason Lester could bat. I mean, he's a quality batsman, a bit of a block artist, but uh, that's the way that he sort of built a career out of batting and hanging around and just, I guess, being there for, the, for that right time. Now, it gets to 150, massive milestone. So we're looking around the change room. We've got Matty Hayden, Ricky Ponning. Uh, who else we got? We've got Mike Hussey, who got a big 100 as well in this particular game. And as... Jason Gillespie scores every single run after that 100. We're ticking off the great test Australian batsman is going past. Mark Wall, I think it was 153, overtakes him. High test score. Gets up towards 200. And Steve Waugh has got a high score of 200. Jason Gillespie brings up his 200, gets to 201. They make the declaration. He comes off and he's shaking his head. I still remember the moment. Shaking his head, can't believe it. He cannot believe he's got a test 100, test 150, and now a double test 100 for a night watchman. Truly an amazing, unbelievable atmosphere to be a part of. And the funny thing was, when Jason Gillespie would sign off, he'd always write, good to chat, boys, Dizzy, 201. Or I think even his email had a 201 in it. Every time he'd sign off on an email or a text message, it'd be 201. But you know what, Dizzy? Hats off to you, mate. I'm actually glad I gave you that job, that responsibility on that particular day because I can promise you I would have not got past probably one, let alone 201, mate. So, what well under you. Hopefully you've enjoyed the story. And of course, let's know what you think. Who has been the best night watchman that you've ever seen? Comment in the section below. Of course, all the action power to you by sportsbet.io.